Hi there and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. This is Steve and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do a vignette using the lens correction filter. This is probably something you've never used before. It's a kind of obscure feature and it's also a destructive editing tool. So we're going to do a couple things to do it right but it's really easy. So let me show you how. The first thing you need to do is you need to make a copy of this layer. And there are a couple of ways you can make a copy. You can click and drag this down and make a copy. Or the quickest, easiest way is to hit Control or Command and the letter J. So now we have a copy right above it. The reason we're doing a copy is because we do not want to do any edits on our original because, again, this is a destructive technique, so it does affect the image. It's not like the layers that if you've seen some of the other vignette techniques I've used, these are them. And if you want to get rid of it, you just toggle it off. Same with these. You just toggle them on if you want to keep them, toggle them off. But this one's going to go right on to our layer. So what you do, this is pretty quick and simple. You go up to Filter and go down to Lens Correction. Click that. It's going to bring up a whole new screen here and we're focused over here on the right. We want to go to this little menu up here where it says autocorrect or custom and we want to click on custom and then in the custom you're going to go down here to this little rectangle here that says vignette. And there are really only two settings here. The first one is the amount of vignette and that's just how dark it's going to be and if you go in left it's going to create a dark vignette if you go to the right, it's going to create a light vignette. That would be if you just want to do something kind of ethereal. But let's go pretty dark to kind of replicate the other vignettes that I've been showing, somewhere around there. And then the midpoint determines where the vignette starts. So you can pull the, the start of the vignette tighter in, or you can pull it further out toward the corners. And you'll see when I go to the left, it's pulling it tighter in on the subject, and then when I go to the right, it's pushing it out all the way to where it's just barely hitting the corners. So for this one, midpoint or maybe even a little further over is probably best. And I'd probably lighten it up just a little bit so it doesn't look too extreme. And then when you're finished with those settings, you click OK. And there's your vignette. Now you'll notice if you look over here that did that edit right on that copy, right on that layer. So if I toggle that off you'll see the original down below. We can toggle back and forth a couple times so you can see the difference. But if I had not made that original layer the only way I can get back to my original is to do undo and that could take a while. Well, I guess you could go to your history panel and scroll all the way back up and, you know, go to here. Or go back to right there. Or right there, I should say. Before, you have to go to where, before where the lens correction happened. But that's not a good way of editing. So just make yourself a copy and save yourself the trouble. But try that one out. It's kind of a quick and easy way to do a vignette and you get pretty decent results. I would say probably better than the brush strategy that I did in this one. But you can check that one out too. I'll leave some links at the end of the video and you can check them out. Please like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and join my course if you like. It's The link is down in the description. And happy editing!